I'm uh, Matthew Wilpey. I'm Principal Emeritus Pursuit in the Sydney Symphony. And I've been in the orchestra, oh, 20, 22 years. Outside of music and performing, um, well, it takes up a lot of my life. So uh, a lot of people just see us on stage and think we go home and, I don't know, watch Netflix or something. <laughs> But we, we have to do a lot of work around our instruments, so that takes a lot of, a lot of my time. I also teach, um, but other things I like doing, I, I swim, I like doing sport. And then if, uh, recently, a couple of years ago, we bought a house in the Blue Mountains, so that's actually taking up quite a lot of time just going up there, and unfortunately, it's got a very big garden, so, <laughs> which I like to look at, but not necessarily work in. One of my hobbies is I have a Citroen DS from 1968. And I used to have one when I was a student. And then it's a kind of a, I guess it was a sort of expensive midlife crisis. Uh, when my daughter, she saw old photos of the car I had in the 70s. And she said, why did you get rid of that car? And so now I've got one. And um, at the moment it's up in the mountains, but it's, it's yeah, beautiful to drive. Yeah, highlights in my career, it's, it's very hard to name one because there's so many and I've been playing for, I don't know, 50 years really. So, uh, of course, there are many performance, performances with the SSO, which were amazing. I remember when I first came, I was so impressed with the orchestra because we did um, Taranga Leela four times with Edo de Vart, and it was full. I thought, that's amazing that, that the audience was so impressed with that piece. But more recently, I think doing Marla One with Simone, that was amazing. I mean, she does that kind of repertoire so well, and it's a fantastic piece, and you could tell from the response. So preparing for a performance, um, of course the players have to do their own practice, and most of us know that piece, the, the Grand Partita. It's a, it's a well-known piece for woodwinds and horns. Um, I think it's more when we get to rehearsals, the difficulty is um, getting it all together and, and trying to make the ensemble sound like one instrument. Well, the work is quite a large chamber work, really, because when you compare it to a string quartet. So there are, it's sometimes called the 13 wind, but it's actually, this time we're using 14 players, including a double bass. They'll be able to hear, of course, they hear the woodwinds when we play in orchestra, but this is, this is a more intimate surroundings in, the, in Angel Place and they'll be able to experience also how we work together as a team. That's, that's very important to see, you know, how we get things together and that kind of thing. Well, the bassoon in, in the Grand Partita has a wonderful part, like all the other parts in the piece. And uh, it's not really so much a challenge, it's just enjoyment. It's such a brilliant piece and Mozart, I think above almost all composers, was such a wonderful composer for woodwinds especially bassoon. And actually the first uh, woodwind concerto he wrote was for bassoon. And then he wrote two others which unfortunately are lost. So he loved the bassoon and all, all the operas, all the piano concertos and symphonies have a wonderful part. Well, I think the audience will take away, or I hope they will enjoy the performance and just see what a brilliant composer Mozart was for, for winds. And I'd also like to mention we're, we're doing another piece in the first part of the program by Beethoven. And that, I put that in the program because I thought probably nobody in the audience, even some of my colleagues have not heard that piece before because it was incomplete. And he wrote that piece for a quintet, but the quintet is oboe, bassoon and three horns. I don't think there's any other composer that's written for that combination. So I, I hope the audience will enjoy, enjoy that piece as well as the Mozart.